Hi, in this particular video, this is the second part of a question where we worked out the area of the sector of a circle. And what we said is, is we use the formula pi r squared, which is the overall area of a circle, and then we multiply it by the fraction that we're actually using, which in this particular case is 140 over 360. Um, now that gave us an overall area to three significant figures of 275 centimetres squared. And if you look at the previous video, that will take you through the process of that particular calculation. Um, however, there is a part B, um, as there usually is with a lot of these questions, which are pitched at kind of higher level, sort of AA star type grade. And this particular question also asks you to work out the perimeter. Okay, so the perimeter. I hope I spelled that right. I think I have. Okay, all righty. Well, the principle is exactly the same. That at the moment, um, we used a fraction of the area of the circle in order to calculate the area. So we're going to use a fraction of the perimeter calculation for a circle in order to calculate the perimeter. What I mean by that is we still got 140 out of 360 degrees. So that's the fraction that we're actually interested in. Now to work out the perimeter of a circle, we use a formula which is, um, I know it as two pi r. I know that some teachers will actually use um, pi d. Okay, and that's absolutely fine. I've no issue with that. Um, 2 pi r is the one that I was taught, but I can see that it can be a little bit confusing sometimes with pi r squared. So I think that's why some people look at pi d as being the formula for the perimeter. Now, if you, uh, if you look at that d, well, that d is actually 2 lots of the radius, 2 times r. So it's interchangeable. And if you want to call it 2 pi r, or you want to change that and make it pi d, then that's absolutely fine, no problem. The figures will still work out okay for you. Um, what I do, or what you can do then, is put these straight into a calculator, but just be very careful when you're calculating with a fraction. And on most scientific calculators, you'll find that there is a, a way that you can enter a fraction. So just be a little bit careful. But the numbers I'm going to use is 140 over 360. Oops. I'm going to multiply that uh, by, I'm going to use 2 pi r because it's just, uh, just the way I am really. But uh, I've got 2 multiplied by pi multiplied by the radius, which is 15. Okay. If I wanted to, I could feed in uh, pi multiplied by 30 which is pi d, which is exactly the same as 2 times pi times 15, because 2 times 15 is, is 30. OK, so once I put those numbers into my calculator, I should get uh, something like this. I'll get 35 over 3 pi. OK, and that's because the calculator knows that pi is fixed, and therefore it will give a fraction of pi. Um, if you then press a key which is uh, SD, okay, now that's on my particular calculator, it might be slightly different on yours, but if you press that key, it will give you the decimal equivalent, and the decimal equivalent of this is going to be 66.6519, okay, no it's not, I got that wrong, it's actually going to be 36 point six. Five one nine centimeters. Now the reason I get it wrong is because the catch on this particular question is you work out the perimeter, which is this bit here. Okay, so this little bit here is the 36, 36 point six five. Okay, one nine. But the thing you have to remember is to work out the overall perimeter of the shape, you've got to add it to these two perimeter edges along here. OK, so 15 plus 15 is 30. Add that to the 36.65 and you will actually get 
point six five one nine which to three significant figures which are generally what they ask for on these type of questions would be uh, 66.7 centimetres and that would be the answer to the question to three significant figures okay so a little bit careful on that one that you've got to remember you're working out the perimeter of the edge of the circle and then you've got to add it to these two lengths there and if you do that that will give you the overall perimeter and bearing in mind these are fairly high grade questions so usually you'll get um, four or five marks and if you forget to add this on then they'll dock a mark from you or maybe half a mark um, and um, but you, you're on the right lines but just try to remember to add that perimeter at the end of, uh, to add the uh, the radius length at the end of it Hope that's been helpful to you. It's a little bit of a tricky video to present, but please do add a comment below if you found it helpful. Uh, please stop the video. If you do add a comment and you're unsure of anything, I will always come back to you. Uh, please do subscribe to the site. I'll look forward to seeing you inside the next video.